and reflection coefficient measurement using a microwave bench. This is the setup for the measurement. We need a claston power supply, a claston mount with reflex claston, an isolator, a variable attenuator, frequency meter, slotted line carriage, match termination, digital storage oscilloscope, VSWR and some other loads like short horn antenna before starting the experiment let us understand the front panel of the claston power supply this is power switch on off switch this is used to provide supply to the instrument this is HT switch initially this switch is kept in off position in off position the plastron power supply provides heater voltage supplies in on condition the high voltage Supply is provided to the claston like beam voltage and different voltages. This is meter selector switch. It is a three position switch. In V position, meter displays beam voltage. In C position, meter displays beam current. In REP position, meter displays repeller voltage this is modulation switch in CW position that is carrier wave position no internal modulation is provided in AM position amplitude modulation is provided in FM position frequency modulation is provided in external position an external signal can be fed to this port external mod port and it will modulate the signal we have an output port having eight number of pins that carries various signals for the reflex class tone it carries various voltages like heater voltage repeller voltage beam voltage, ground, etc. Here we have frequency selection knobs. This is frequency selection for amplitude modulation case. This is frequency selection knob for frequency modulation case. These are the amplitude selection knobs for AM and FM respectively. Before putting the cluster power supply in on condition, ensure that this HT switch is in off condition. The beam voltage knob should be kept in maximum anti clockwise direction, that is, beam voltage should be minimum. The rippler knob should be kept fully clockwise so that it provides minimum rippler voltage. These frequency selection knobs and amplitude knobs should be kept at minimum positions. Before performing the experiment as per the requirement, we can put the modulation switch either in CW, AM or FM or external. For this experiment, we will keep this at AM position. Bench. This attenuator should be kept at minimum position so as to allow microwave power to pass through the waveguide. The slotted line carriage should be kept at 
minimum position at the start. So now we'll switch on the power supply, press on power supply, and wait for a few minutes. After some time, we'll put this HT switch on. Now will increase this beam voltage say up to 250 53 volts and regular voltage at 100 116 116 do check the beam current it should be less than 30 milliamperes presently it is 16 milliamperes so it is quite enough now we'll slightly increase the amplitude of the signal now we'll observe output on the dso you can see a rectangular wave at the dso output uh, at present, the peak to peak voltage is 65.1 milliamperes. So, we will record this in our observation table 65.1 milliamperes. This is Vmax when a merged termination is connected at the output side. Now, we will move. The slotted line carriage in longitudinal direction slowly and will observe voltage minima. This is the minimum position at 39.8 millivolts. This is 39.8 millivolts. So in this case, we are getting VSWR as 1.6, reflection coefficient equal to 0.24 and transmission coefficient 1.24 this is somewhat hard but can be accepted and go for the next load condition we will remove this mass termination from the output and keep it open circuit so we have removed this mass termination and in this situation we will record the V max so in this situation V max is 76 millivolts 76 millivolts now we will move the slotted light carrier slowly and we will observe minimum position This is minimum position. At this point of time, we are getting 30.8 millivolts. This is 30.8 millivolts. In this way, we are getting VSWR equal to 2.46, reflection coefficient equal to 0.42, and transmission coefficient equal to 1.42. Connect a horn antenna at the output side and will measure V max and V min with the help of movement of this slotted line carriage. Here you can observe that we have connected a horn antenna at the output side. In this situation, that is at minimum position of the slotted line carriage, we are getting waveform like this. 
and the peak to peak voltage is 74.2 millivolts. So we record this 74.2 millivolts V max and V minimum can be recorded by moving this slotted line carrier slowly and observing the minimum position. At this position, the peak to peak voltage is 43.4. 43.4 volts. In this way, VSWR is 1.70. Reflection coefficient is 0.26, and transmission coefficient is 1.26. short at the output we have connected a short at the output and keep this uh, slotted line carriers at minimum position and observe the waveform on the DSO in this position the peak to peak voltage is 110 millivolts and record this in the respective row 110 millivolts now we will move this slotted line carriage slowly and we will observe the minimum position. This is around 4 millivolts. Around 4 millivolts negative. In this case, VSWR is equal to 27.4, 27.5 and reflection coefficient equal to 0.92 which is very close to 1 that is maximum limit and transmission coefficient equal to 1.92. In this way, we have and transmission coefficient in various load conditions. Thank you.